Our next guest is the author of a novel entitled Escape from the Union School, which is based on true events during racial integration in the state of North Carolina. The story centers around a young white woman, recently graduated from college, who takes on a teaching job in an all-black school, and she quickly finds herself thrust into a world completely foreign to her. Karen Lux Jorgensen, along with her grandson Cameron, join us now to tell us more. Welcome both of you to the show. Thank Hi. you. Thank you. Yeah, and some people may recognize you because you used to work here. I did. I used yeah. to be uh, Channel 10 uh, Weather Girl, 11 uh -huh. o'clock at night, and back in the 80s, and of course that was kind of fun too. <laughs> but everything's changed, as you well know. Yes, it has. Okay, so now you've returned to Roanoke yes. to talk about your new novel. Tell us about it, Escape from the Union School. Well, I just graduated from. Uh, college. I went to Cave Spring High School here, went to East Carolina, but then at East Carolina I needed a job. I'd just gotten married and the highest paying job was to teach. So I was quite the ingenue when the uh, superintendent of the county schools down there said, oh, well we're going to let you, uh, there's an experiment going on and we want you to be a teacher at this all black union school. And I, I thought, okay, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I went in there with just, you know, very innocent eyes and quickly learned that uh, it was uh, not not what I expected. Right. Yeah. So yeah, talk about the time and how you were received walking yes. into the school. At the very beginning, that first day, I went into the teachers' meeting, and I expected, you know, a, a mix of blacks and whites. They were all black. They were all smoking. The room was dark, and we were waiting for this principal to come in, and nobody would speak to me. You know, they just kind of look at me and say, they would nod, you know, hello, hello. And so I knew right then it was going to be, uh, I'd have to open the doors to integration. Yeah, right. So how can reading your book by someone who knows nothing about what really happened during the last days of Martin Luther King Jr. help them better understand his role and the circumstances surrounding racial integration in the South? Good question. Martin Luther King Jr. was an absolute icon in helping people realize that we're all equal, that there's uh, maybe a skin color difference, but the main point is that we are all equal. And when they read this book, they're going to see quite a different uh, story in that I befriended this young boy named Martin. Mm -hmm. and he was only 14. His mother had just died two months before, and we became great friends. And from that, we understood each other's lives, and he put me in his life. And uh, the book is absolute, um, incredibly a surprise at the end. Okay. And sitting beside you is your grandson, Cameron. How is he involved in your novel? Well, let's let him talk about it. I, di I didn't know how to end the novel. Okay. And I was at his uh, uh, house one day, and what did you say? Let's do what? Uh, I said, let's go find the school. You know, I was very eager to, you know, find the school and see how long, uh, how much it's changed over the 50 years it's yeah. been since the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 50 okay. years. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it was, I mean, it, that was in North Carolina, but is there parts in Roanoke that, that you mentioned in this oh, book? I'm so glad you said that. This is a testimony to Roanoke. I grew okay. up in Roanoke. It was the place to raise a family. I grew up here, went away, got married. After the divorce, I brought my three children back, his dad being one of the twins. And it's a great place, and it, this book shows that Roanoke is a place of peace and tranquility and a great place to grow up. All right, so you and Cameron are having a book signing event tomorrow, Saturday, December 8th, from 1 to 3 at Book No Further on Church Avenue. Thank you so much for yes. being here. Good luck with the book. Thank you. Thank you.